friends, I am Dr. Harvinder Singh. Now in this educational session, what I will do is I will talk about understanding adverse event management with lithium. Because I strongly believe that this is one of the reason why lithium is not prescribed as often as it should be because of the fear of side effects. So here I will talk about various adverse event associated with lithium on kidney, thyroid, parathyroid, neurological and gastrointestinal system. And I will discuss these adverse events in terms of underlying mechanism, risk factors, clinical symptoms, laboratory evaluation, management, and guidelines for early identification and prevention of these side effects. And these topics will be discussed in a four-day lecture series for these five side effects from lithium. I will very briefly go over these topics now, starting with the nephrological side effect of polyuria. This will be discussed on May 7th, and the topics will be discussed in these six sections, ranging from what is the underlying mechanism of polyuria from lithium, what are the risk factors that you should be mindful of and should avoid if possible, and if a patient is presenting with polyuria symptoms, what lab workup is needed, and if this effect on kidney is reversible if you discontinue lithium. I think this is a very important question that uh, patients may ask you. And then what are the medication treatment options for lithium-induced nephrogenic diabetes insipidus? And then what are the guidelines, like how often and which lab work or interventions needs to be done to minimize the risk of renal damage from lithium. So that will be our first day on polyuria. And then we'll talk about the neurological side effect of tremors on May 8. And this will be discussed in these sections ranging from clinical features like how to identify these tremors on physical exams, what are the risk factors for lithium-induced tremors and how to separate these tremors from lithium toxicity tremors, right? Very clinically important because uh, lithium toxicity is one of the psychiatric emergencies. So very important to know if this is a benign or toxicity tremor. And then what are the management options for lithium tremor? And then we know beta blockers are very commonly used, but what if beta blockers are not effective, they're contraindicated, or a patient is not able to tolerate them? What medication options we have? And then next, we will go over the thyroid side effect of hypothyroidism on 9th of May. And this will be discussed in these sections on underlying mechanism risk factors, clinical symptoms, laboratory monitoring guidelines, management options, and when to initiate treatment, and what are what is that treatment. So we'll talk about all that in this section on hypothyroidism. Then moving on to the next one, on hypothyroid, mainly focus on hypercalcemia and hyperparathyroidism, and this will be discussed on May 10. And this will be discussed again in various sections ranging from underlying mechanism and how to differentiate lithium-associated hyperparathyroidism from underlying primary hyperparathyroidism. Actually, I like this one a lot because you can do certain lab work that can separate and differentiate this. And uh, that will also tell you which lab work to order if these uh, symptoms are present. And that's the next one. What are the clinical symptoms that you should ask for? And then laboratory monitoring guidelines and management options. And then 
Last but not the least is the gastrointestinal symptom of nausea and diarrhea. It will be discussed again on May 10th with the hypothyroid section. And this is a very short section where we will talk about risk factors and which lithium formulation is preferred for prevention of the side effects and what are the management options. So friends, this will be the upcoming lecture series. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have questions. Do consider subscribing to our Academy membership to get access to not only this, but all other clinically relevant discussions that we have done so far. And you can go to psychiatryeducationforum.com to read and learn more about these lectures and other things, clinically relevant things that we have to offer. But thanks again for listening to me. This is Dr. Singh signing off. You all take care and bye for now.